What's up, Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures, how are you doing? This is a follow-up video of my Citadel Texture Paint Review video. Uh, Citadel Texture Paint Review 2, which is Astro Granite, Debris, Evgrel and Badland, Valhall and Blizzard. I'll put a link in the description. Basically, um, quite a few people had negative experiences with Astro Granite Debris, the new Citadel Texture, so it's this one in front of you now. Um, and here's the one that I did previously. So, went on quite nice, um, kind of thick, again you can see like a, a mill off the base and all the rest of it, and there it is. So, looked pretty good. Now a few people commented that they couldn't get it to stick to the base, um, <coughs> that it was sort of like grainy, that the sand wouldn't stick, the sand would you know, stay on the, the brush, and the sand would, uh, wouldn't spread around. So I just wanted to do a quick follow up, because a few people said it actually, that, you know, there's maybe 30 comments, and 5 or 6 of them were, were on this. So all I've got, I've got some water, I've got um, a shitty old brush, so this is a size 1 filbert brush, which is that one that's like uh, the shape of a fingernail, so it's like, it's, well it's knackered now, but it's flat on one side and then uh, like a wedge on the other, and then I've got a Citadel texture spreader, and the texture spreader has um, a thicker side on it, and then you know, it's like a, like a shovel shape I suppose. And you can see from the side it's quite thin, and then this side, again, has like uh, like a cat's tongue sort of shape, like if you know what a cat's tongue brush is. So that sort of thing. So they're the two that I'd use. Now I'm going to do it on two separate bases, see, so you can see. Obviously, you'd, you'd normally have a miniature standing on the base, so it's like a bit unrealistic, but it will knacker a brush. So generally, stick to the texture spreader, but it will it will destroy a brush. Like it'll get stuck in the bristles. And this one, you can see I've done it. Um, and in the ferrule of the of the bit, it's all gunked up, and now this brush is like only good for that and dry brushing basically. So, um, first things first, shake shake the tub a lot. Um, it's really thick, so you want this sort of a consistency there. So it's like moist and soft, I guess, like quite wet. Now, I struggle to do that by just shaking it up because the sand seems to settle at the bottom and even now you can see the sand at the bottom there is a different colour to this dark blue and you can see it sort of striates through the pot the medium that the sand is suspended in is sort of a dark blue like a Cantor blue colour or like an Incubi Dark... no, no is it Incubi Darkness? Dark Reaper and so mixing them together was actually kind of difficult so what I did was I got the end of, a, end of the brush and literally just banged it in and physically mixed it around and that obviously it's super messy but that is how I got a proper clean on it so I'll clean the brush off just now I've got a bit of a cold so I apologise for that uh, so, so next basically I'm going to show you one with a brush and then one with a texture spreader um, and I would recommend the brush to be completely honest because it's just a bit easier and like I said if you can get one of these sort of filbert brushes you'll have them so we've got two plain bases, um, 25 mil round bases, just standard stuff, nothing special. Uh, they've not been primed or washed or treated in any way, basically, so it's just standard, just as is. So uh, I'm going to get a little bit of water on the brush, only a little bit. This lid don't want to stay up, does it? And then a big old lump like that. Let's get it. I'm sort of half watching the uh, camera. And then dump it down on the on the base. And then what I did was wash the brush off there, so the brush is still a bit wet. And then sort of pushed it around very very gently, like that. So there, you can see that you're keeping a lot of the, the thickness and the height of the stuff. The wetness of the brush seems to repel or to stop a little bit of the texture sticking to the brush. But even then, a lot is caking up the inside of the uh, the bristles. So I think this is what this is the issue that people are, are coming up against, actually. I think this is what people are talking about. That actually it's just sticking to the bristles and then a bit like blue tack or something 
it sticks to itself more than it wants to stick to the base. So I do understand. And then there. Right? So how long did that take? Five seconds or something. And I don't seem to have any issues with it. So if you're doing something different, or if you're not doing that, then 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 fine, fair enough. But I don't <clears throat> with the with the greatest possible respect I, I, I that's quite it's quite easy. Like I I can see where you you might go wrong with that, you know, with the brush and stuff. But 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 there it is. And again, we'll try it with the taxi spreader. So we'll just clean this brush off. Put him down there. Uh, I'm going to use the thick end to start off with. So we're going to get a big, big lump like that. We'll put it on the base. Get two bits actually, just to show you. Then we're just going to spread it around. And again, you're gonna get like a rough, um, make it uneven and and shit like that, you know, to give it a bit of character. Uh, a bit like a sculpting tool, you can make it flat with this if you want. Like if you put a bit of water on the end of the texture spreader here. Um, just wipe it off there. You can uh, sort of flatten it a bit, you know what I mean, to get like a smooth side. To get this in the light, you can sort of smooth it out if you want. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, I imagine a bit of olive oil or um, Lumia Medium or like Vaseline or something would do a really similar thing, a bit like you would when you sculpt and green stuff. And then round the edges, obviously, I'd just use my thumb or something for now. Um, just to really neat in the edge up like that, and then you'd uh, paint your coloured rim, or you'd. Uh, so I've missed a little bit on that side, but yeah, you touch it up with the black. So that's with the texture spreader on the left, and this is the brush on the right. So again, good coverage. It's gone quite thick uh, on both sides, and this one on the right, we've got more of like a lumpy texture, and this one on the left, we've um, flattened it down a little bit. There's a load of different possibilities with that. And then from there, after it's dried, um, I'd give it an hour or two, basically. You uh, you can wash over it, dry brush over it, um, do like a glaze and then a, a dry brush highlight. With this one, um, basically, what's it called? Um, the blue glaze. Night, Drakenhoff Nightshade from Games Workshop. Um, and then sort of a grey highlight, like a Dawnstone. Maybe an Administratum Grey. And you're laughing, pretty much. So that's it, right? So that's that's it. I'm I'm trying to make it sound like I'm um, I don't want to sound like I'm being rude or anything like that. Um, I I I thought it was fairly straightforward. Um, and even though I did understand about the the clogging in the brush, like you know some of the the, the bristles going and things like that, um, I did agree with people that is, this is the the most difficult one of the new releases to use. Um, I had a similar sort of thing with um, Martian Iron was it Martian Iron Crust this one yeah Martian Iron Crust um, where it just sort of stuck in the bristles a little bit but with a texture spreader no issue so it's possible that some uh, an, a first batch of these paints um, was kind of messed up that's a possibility um, I've had a Caraber Crimson from Games Workshop that every time it dried it went sort of it, with this like white finish. Um, and in the recesses of a miniature, it left this like white finish, which looks stupid. And you can get rid of it with uh, varnish and that. But it's possible. It's possible that there's sort of a bad batch. It's possible that um, it needs a, a really, really good shaking up. If it's still really dry and it's still really sandy, I would say get your brush in, wet the tip, you know, the end of the brush, the handle of the brush, and then give it a proper mix round like that until it's. And again, you can see it with a nice uh, camera and stuff. You want it so it's like, like wet, pretty much, like that. So you can manipulate and and mess it around and stuff. And then, like I said, I found it easier to to use the texture spreader. Um, but that's pretty much it. So if you've done something different, that's that's cool. And I hope this video has been useful for you. Um, and like I said, it's a, it is a possibility that there's something wrong with a, a batch of the things. 
But if you're still struggling or if you're still getting a similar sort of result, um, I know one guy left me a picture, which is awesome, so cheers for that. But if you could take me a, a small video or a picture or something, um, I can I can I give you my advice, basically. Um, not that I'm a, an expert on these things, but you know, if you're still getting any issues, I would like to know what's what's happening because I can't really foresee, other than things I've mentioned, obviously, I can't necessarily foresee what it is. So that's everything. Um, I think it looks really cool. Like of all the different ones, like I said, uh, you know, you'll see my previous review video, but all of them really, really good, really quick, really easy. And like I said, there's a full range of them. So I highly recommend them. If you still have any issues, like I said, take me a picture or um, a video, and we'll and we'll see what's what. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and have a good day.